consider a ring of radius r and mass m let m be the mass of the ring total mass of the ring mass of the ring we need to find the moment of inertia of this ring about an axis passing through its center like this passing through its center and passing through its center and perpendicular to the length of the ring let's call let's call that center as o so we need to find the moment of inertia of this ring about this red axis let's call this axis y y dash for that let us consider a small mass in here let's call that mass as dm and length length of this small mass be dl dl then we have the total length of the ring will be the perimeter of the circle so length of the ring will be length of the ring is equal to 2 pi r here now the mass per unit length mass per unit length will be mass per unit length will be the mass of the ring divided by its length that is m by 2 pi r we have the length of the small portion as dl then mass of the mass of the small section dm is equal to we have mass per unit length into length that is mass per unit length is m divided by 2 pi r into the length of the small portion that is dl dl clear now we have to find the moment of inertia of this small mass about this axis we have the moment of inertia moment of inertia inertia of the small mass dm let's call that moment of inertia as pi we have for for any mass the moment of inertia is equal to mass of that particle times the square of the distance of that particle from the axis that is dr square so in order to find the mom total moment of inertia or the moment of inertia of the ring we must integrate this one dm r square now we have to put the limit before that let's substitute the value of dm in here so this will be This will be i is equal to integral of dm is we have m by 2 pi r dl into r square. You can cancel this r and this r. So it will be since the mass radius and 2 pi is constant you can take that outside. Before that you have to put the limit. Since the variable in here is dl which means the length of the ring length of the ring varies from no length zero to the total length that is 2 pi r so that is the limit of integration so this will be you can take this m r and 2 pi outside since they are constants m r by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi r dl now the value will be i is equal to i is equal to m r divided by 2 pi integral of dl is l 0 to 2 pi r first you have to put the upper limit m r by 2 pi into the upper limit is 2 pi r minus the lower limit is 0 clear so this will be m r divided by 2 pi into 2 pi r 
cancel this 2 pi and 2 pi this is equal to m r square so moment of inertia of ring will be m r square provided the axis must be perpendicular to the ring perpendicular to the plane of the ring and passes through its center clear